This program sponsored by Lombardo's Apothecary, located at 1230 South Mill Street on the south side of Newcastle. Special thanks going out to Town Mall Pizza for sponsorship of this program, located in the Cascade Galleria, Newcastle. We're back, and uh, as we had a little technical glitch, and uh, Marsha, thanks for your comments, um, and and you know, we've got a lot, we get a lot of people commenting here, uh, Mike DiStefano, uh, just Doug, uh, people from all over Lawrence County, and some from outside Lawrence County. Um, and I appreciate reading both sets of views uh, as it becomes, <coughs> excuse me, uh, pretty got, pretty important. Um, also, Nicarelli, uh, thank you for um, contacting us and being a part of NCTV 45. Uh, also, Lisa and Sam uh, Smith Jr. I, I don't know who uh, that is. Um, Sometimes you get some uh, interesting uh, uh, names on here, and like I said, when they're uh, when they are just um, all that European type style, some of the Italian ones I can't even say, let alone if it's a, uh, and you could tell who's sending you junk and. If it's a, a reputable, uh, reputable uh, French name or, or Polish, Polish is really kind of hard for me too. So um, I apologize when De I make those names. Now here's one's easy. Dennis Styles, thank you for the kind comments, and um, totally appreciate it. Now. When we get back, we got a lot to talk about because I'm I'm amazed at some of the issues that uh, people make with how ever you perceive things here, things can get a lot worse in a heck of a hurry when you get some of the things going on that are going on. So uh, let's. Let's take this break. When you come back, I guess I could have used this for a focus and see, but I think it needs addressed pretty quickly, and that's why I'm going for it. So we'll be right back after this. Your family and friends will be pleased if you suggest dining at Mary's Middle Eastern Restaurant in Newcastle. Lamb and chicken dishes, stuffed grape leaves, tabbouleh, hummus, kibbe, and so much more from their huge menu. When you're looking for something different for your dining experience, then Mary's is the answer. Many of their customers come in from nearby counties. Mary's Middle Eastern Restaurant, located on Long Avenue in Newcastle. Call 724-652-2447. Parkstown Restaurant has been serving the greater Newcastle area with quality and experience in family dining and great entertainment. Their superb menu includes sides, wings, pizza, sandwiches, Italian entrees, American entrees, soups and salads. Parkstown Restaurant located at 2800 West State Street, Newcastle. Eat in or take out. This program furnished by the MAD Unit, Mobile Auto Detailing, C. Michael Sad at the madunit.com Today's programming is brought to you by NCTV 45 and NC Radio 450 Newcastle's community 
television station. Well, we're back, and yes, I call this the greatest castle in the world. There's something else that's really great here. It is the rumor mill. And, you know, everything has to be run on some type of energy, whether it's fossil fuels or solar energy or, or Newcastle Lawrence County is not a country unto itself I mean we don't have a border that says okay you have a passport you can come into Lawrence County thus we're going through church consolidation now. Now, there's some things on both ends. Okay. First of all, I think, and I will go on the record as saying, those cultural things that we've come to enjoy here, whether you're Polish and you have Ipotec at Easter and Kielbasa and pierogies and you color eggs and you bring your basket and put it on the altar at Easter okay or you're Italian and you do the seven fishes at Christmas and no matter what you are those traditions are very important now with that being said okay we have a great festival every summer. It's called the St. Vitus Bazaar. The St. Vitus Festival, I don't know. They changed names. We always called it the St. Vitus Bazaar because everybody had a bazaar and they had food and out of this world. And you get to talk to your neighbors and have a good time. And it was on the south side. People drove. People drove from the Shannick and Union and they drove down and they enjoyed it. Now, the rumor mill, propelled by some pretty goofy thinking, said, Up! Oh, there's not going to be any bazaar this year. Now, I took the opportunity when that reached my door to call Father Mac and ask specifically about the St. Midas Festival. To which I was told, and I quote, that's news to me. The question became this. And everybody remembers Mr. Belisco that was in charge of the kitchen and that type of stuff. Everybody remembers Mr. Monaco who did it before him. Uh, these guys are older. These guys are solidly <laughs> over 70. Okay? Now, think about it a second. My mother-in-law works down there in... in She's 85, older. How much mileage do you think you could get out of one gallon of gas here? They need some younger help. Now, it's absolutely ridiculous to think that 
you can keep going with people that are in their mid 70s later 70s and that was the total makeup and that's probably why the Catholic Church doesn't know where we're heading here because we're wandering around without any direction and I realize the economic climate and everything like that they're looking for volunteers they're looking with for somebody with a food license that can manage the kitchen but do not spread gossip rumor and innuendo that can just hurt people hurt the idea of having a festival that we've always had and it's always been fun rather than doing that why don't you put your energy into saying oh okay we understand the shortcomings of what's going on let's try and do something to continue it forward that would make more sense not oh well that's gone you know um, wasn't long ago back to the 50s was gone so we had the fireworks festival we have the county fair I'm I'm trying to get it is the idea to make all these festivals go away lose our culture does that make it better to that one person that said to me so proudly I haven't been on a football field since you coached me. Oh, wow, well, that's really tremendous. So you've done nothing with your kids in Newcastle, Lawrence County, yet you're on a board. Really? So what you're saying is you tell somebody else to do it, but you're not willing to do it yourself really bad news should really start showing up on these fine things we have and enjoy them with the rest of the community start to try to become a community person now I really don't like to get that serious on the morning show but I will act as an agent to try and help some of these people get some of the things squared away. I can't do it all myself. But if you're in the sound of my voice and you have a food license and you would like to help get this work done, please contact them at the parish rectory office and if you not if you can't email me your phone number I'll pass it on and it'll sure help out a bunch of people now we're going to take this break and then we'll be back right after program was provided through funding from Cedars Restaurant in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. A special thanks to Cedars featuring Middle Eastern, Italian, and American cuisine.
corner. And uh, let's get to Major League Baseball. Those Buckos go to visit the Cincinnati Red Legs. While the Indians, they're on the road visiting the Twinkies elsewhere in the National. Well, as elsewhere in the major leagues. Yankees, they're at home against the Orioles. The Mets, they're on the road against the Nationals. The Dodgers, they're at home against the Diamondbacks. While the Tigers, they go visit the Blue Jays. The White Sox will be at the Royals. The Cardinals will be at the Brewers. The Braves will be at the Phillies. Astros at Tampa Bay Rays, Cubs at Texas Rangers, Angels will be at the Athletics, and the Giants at the Padres, while the Rockies take on the Marlins and the Red Sox visit the Mariners. Now, in the NBA, and uh, we keep talking about we're, we're getting down to that playoff time. Key matchup here, and I like this one, the Nets visiting the 76ers. Now, this is one time when I hope my son's team really pours it on as the Cavaliers go to take on the Spurs. The Magic will be at the Pistons, the the Mavericks will be at the Heat, the Raptors at the Knicks, Nuggets at the Rockets, the Clippers at the Bucks, and the Kings, why they, they'll be at the Pelicans. Now over in the NHL, as we stream along, your Thursday games, and uh, they've got a pretty decent slate. The Red Wings at the Sabres, Capitals at the Hurricane. Canadians at the Blue Jackets, Panthers at the Senators, Islanders at the Jets, Stars will be at the Oilers, Kings will be at the Canucks, and the Blackhawks, they'll take on the Sharks. This was the Cedar Sports Corner, and we're going to return right after this timeout. program was provided through funding from Cedars Restaurant in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. A special thanks to Cedars featuring Middle Eastern, Italian, and American cuisine. Today's programming furnished by a grant from Joseph's Supermarket. Special thanks to Josephs. The Pokeberry Exchange at 41 North of Mercer Street has gifts galore. It's the Pokeberry Exchange. It's yours to explore. We're back and uh, some tips on Newswatch. Grant comes to the area, find out what it's being used for. Oneness, that family event on its way. There's a senior prom, and I do mean senior, that it's kind of special. Also, B-I-N-G-O, find out where. And um, some good news. Uh, and 
this is that they'll keep the light on for you. Find out what group that is. Also, one more thing. It's talking about a program that helps kids get food during the summer months. Now, um, with that being said, now we have to go to the word of the day. Let's check this out. Your word of the day is, drumroll, polyglot. Polyglot. So uh, keep that in mind. By the way, I could do that. And uh, March holidays. Okay, I was waiting for my monitor to change. And the 28th, something on a stick day, wood appreciation day, weed, what is that? Weed appreciation day. I don't know when you ever appreciate a weed. Also, today is opening day for Major League Baseball. And, um, the last thing I got I, I got to tell you two things. This day in history and also the song of the day. This day in history, as this uh, folds down on me, nuclear disaster at Three Mile Island, and they made a movie. How about that? And uh, the song of the day, here you go. As, um, let's see. I, uh, here you go. Song of the day. And that's that. Very popular movie this was in. Now, we're going to be back with a whole bunch more stuff after we take this break. And I'm done with this monitor, so it's not going to flop around and we'll be right back. Tuscany Square Restaurant, 3470 Wilmington Road, where old world charm meets the modern conveniences of today. Spacious seating and amenities await. Fresh ingredients that make that just right pizza or entree. It's Tuscany Square for your next event. Stop and see us or give us a call at 724-654-0365. Hello oh, and welcome to sunny <laughs> Newcastle and NCTV 45 Lawrence County weather. Well, after last night's clear low of 20, how's your Wednesday looking? Well, as you look at radar, clear as a bell and the national scene really puts it together as to the north and west you've got clear skies so your Wednesday sunny 54 get used to this sunshine Wednesday night mostly clear 34 now on Thursday partly sunny 59 and Wednesday night the rain starts to build in as you have a 40% chance of precip with an overnight low of 45. 
Now, showers will occur on Friday with a high of 58, 60% chance of rain there. And Friday night, cloudy, 47, chance of rain, 50%. Now, Saturday, showers, clouds, 52, chance of rain, 60%. And Saturday night, chance goes up to 70% with a cloudy low of 34. Be careful on those spots. Could be some ice as you get ready to go to early morning church services on Sunday. Sunday, mostly cloudy, 42. Chance of rain, 40%. Sunday night, mostly cloudy and 28. Monday, as you get back to work and school, mostly sunny with a high of 45. Now that was Lawrence County 45 weather, and we're going to be right back after we hear from these proud sponsors, who would love to hear from you. Today's programming is brought to you by NCTV 45. And NC Radio 450, Newcastle's community television station. This program, furnished by a grant from Keystone Specialty, Newcastle's party store on Mill Street in Newcastle. This program, furnished by Sporting Goods, 23 East Washington Street, Newcastle. Call 724-658-2535. Tuscany Square Restaurant, 3470 Wilmington Road, where old world charm meets the modern conveniences of today. Spacious seating and amenities await. Fresh ingredients that make that just right pizza or entree. It's Tuscany Square for your next event. Stop and see us or give us a call at 724-654-0365. Hey, here's a quick tip. Get rid of shower door scum by rubbing it with a dryer sheet. There you go. I never thought of that. I don't know if that works, but that's something you might want to try. How to be your wife's best friend. Wear your wedding ring. Well, I always do. How about taking her out on a date and enjoying the fine cuisine we have in town? Enjoy the fine atmosphere. And I don't want to hear that negativity, you know, at all. We have a lot of great people here. So... That takes care of that. Polyglot. To be able to write and speak in different languages. There. Bonjour. Ciao. I do it. Italian, French. For those of you that did know, yes, I speak French also. And Italian. And um, the song of the day. Here you go. Now, that's It Must Be You from Tootsie. And it must be you that's going to call and let them know that you can help out at St. Vitus. You don't even have to be from the parish. Maybe it's something you just enjoy doing. You enjoy going down there and you'd like to see it. What the heck? Why not give it a try? And... Uh, Make sure that you tell a friend. And have a friend tell a friend about NCTV45. They'll be glad you did. And uh, remember when they say, oh, I don't watch a lot of television. Say, well, NCTV45, they're available anytime on your time. 
Yes, in the pursuit of excellence, it's NCTV 45. And here's hoping that you get that second cup of coffee and have a super day in what I call the greatest castle in the world in the county of Lawrence. Have a great day, everybody, and we'll see you again real soon.